What's up everyone, welcome back, Patrick here, moving on to another question where we have to expand expressions and simplify them. So starting with part A, we got x plus five times x plus seven plus x minus two times x plus four. So notice here, we have to be careful with the bed mass because we're gonna be mixing different operations. So notice we'll be multiplying over here, we'll also be multiplying over here, and then we are gonna be adding over here. So with bed mass, what comes first? Well, always multiplying before addition. So what we got to do is we got to multiply these two, then these two, and then we could add both of them. So starting with this one, we got x plus 5 times x plus 7. So what would we do? We would foil it out. So we would do x times x, which would give us x squared. Then we'll have x times 7, which would give us 7x and then five times x, which would give us five x, and then we'll have five times seven, which would give us 35 right there, right? So this, let's put this in square brackets so we could keep track of what we're doing. This multiplication here ends up being this right over there, okay? And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna add these two terms that are going to be multiplied. So I'm running out of room here, so let me just put it right here. Okay, so this second square bracket is going to be these two expressions multiplied. So we'll have x times x, which gives us x squared. Then we'll have x times positive 4, which gives us 4x. Negative 2 times x, which gives us minus 2x. And then negative 2 times 4, which gives us minus 8. And we're going to close that square bracket right there. And then from here, what I would do is I would simplify inside the square brackets first. So notice that these are like terms. So we end up with x squared plus 12x plus 35. And then over here in this square bracket, notice 4x minus 2x would give us 2x. So we'll have x squared plus 2x minus 8 and we'll close that square bracket. So one more time, this first square bracket simplifies to that. This square bracket simplifies to that. And then from here, what we can do is we can add both of these. Now notice that this is just like a plus one in front. So we can actually just get rid of this bracket over here because when we distribute the plus one inside, everything is gonna stay the same. That's not always gonna happen. Like over here in part B, we're gonna have a negative that we'll have to distribute or a positive three or a negative four over here. But in this particular case, because it's just a positive, it's like a positive one, we can just keep everything the same. So let's actually just rewrite everything and just get rid of the brackets like that. And then from here, we just have to collect like terms. So notice we'll have the x squared plus x squared. So that would give us 2x squared. So let's cross those out. Then we'll have 12x plus 2x, which would give us 14x. Let's cross those out. And then we'll have 35 minus 8, which would give us positive 27. So then we could cross those out. And then this over here does not simplify any further. Okay, so that ends up being the answer for part A. So let's keep track of these. So we got 2x squared plus 14x plus 27. That's the answer for part A. Now let's move on to part B. Same kind of thing here. We're multiplying expressions and then we have a subtraction in the middle. So first we got to deal with the multiplication. So let's again keep track of these with square brackets. So I'm going to multiply these two first. So we'll have 2x times x which gives us 2x squared, 2x times negative 2 which gives us minus 4x, and then 3 times x gives us positive 3x, and then 3 times negative 2 would give us minus 6. And then we're going to have a minus, and then the second square bracket. It's going to be the multiplication of those two terms right there. So we'd end up with 3x times 4x gives us 12x squared. 
3x times 1 gives us positive 3x. Negative 4 times 4x gives us minus 16x. Negative 4 times 1 gives us minus 4, like that. Uh, let me just double check that we are all good here. Yes, looks fine to me. So from here, what you want to do is, like the previous example, you want to simplify these brackets first before dealing with this subtraction. So this bracket, notice these two like terms, negative 4 plus 3 would give us negative 1, or just negative x minus 6. And then we'll have minus, simplifying this bracket, 3x minus 16x, that would simplify to minus 13x, and then we'll have a minus 4, like that. And now from here, what we do is we take this negative, there's like a negative 1 in front, and we distribute it into this whole bracket. Okay, so everything, all the signs are pretty much going to change because we're subtracting this entire product over here. So you wouldn't just take the minus and put it on the 12x squared. It's minus this whole thing here, right? So we have to distribute that negative 1 to all three terms. Over here, there's like a plus 1 in front. So all of this stays the same for that first bracket. But here, all the signs are going to change. So we'll have minus 12x squared plus 13x plus 4, changing all those signs. And then just collect like terms at this point. So 2x squared minus 12x squared would give us minus 10x squared. So cross those out. Then we'll have minus x plus 13x, which would give us positive 12x, like that. And then we'll have minus 6 plus 4, which gives us minus 2, like that. Right, so this here ends up being the final answer for part B. Now moving on to part C, we have negative bracket x minus 4 times x minus 5 plus 3 times 2x plus 3 times x plus 1. So same kind of thing here. It's just now we have this 3 in front and then we have a negative 1 in front over here. But we're still multiplying terms here, multiplying terms here, and then we're adding the multiplication of those terms. So I'm actually going to continue this down here so we could put it all in one line. So starting with this multiplication, now different ways you can go about this. I've mentioned this in previous videos. Because you're multiplying three things, it doesn't matter the order you multiply. So you could take the negative one, you could distribute it in this bracket, and then take that bracket, multiply it by this one, or the negative one you can distribute here. What I personally do with something like this is I actually keep the negative one on the outside and then I just multiply these two brackets first. So we'd end up with x times x, which gives us x squared. x times negative 5 gives us minus 5x. Negative 4 times x gives us minus 4x. And then negative 4 times negative 5 gives us positive 20, like that. And we're still keeping that negative on the outside. So then over here, the positive 3 I'll keep on the outside for now, and then I'm just going to multiply these two brackets. So we'll have 2x times x gives us 2x squared. 2x times 1 gives us um, positive 2x. 3 times x gives us positive 3x. And then 3 times 1 gives us positive 3, like that. And then at this point, if you want, you could distribute the negative 1 inside this bracket. You could distribute the 3 inside this bracket. What I'm first going to do is I'm going to simplify the brackets before distributing. So notice that these are like terms. So that would be minus 9x plus 20. And then we'll have positive 3. These two terms simplify to positive 5x. And then we'll have positive 3 like that. Okay, then from here... Now we can distribute, so I'm going to distribute this negative inside the bracket, so we'd end up with negative x squared plus 9x minus 20. Basically, all of the signs change. And then over here, distributing the 3, 3 times 2x squared gives us 6x squared, 3 times 5x gives us 15x, and then 3 times 3 would give us positive 9, like that. 
just doing a quick check here before proceeding. Looks all good to me. So now we can just simplify the like terms. So notice negative x squared plus 6x squared. Let's write the answer over here. That would be positive 5x squared. So those cancel out um, or cross out rather. Then we'll have 9x plus 15x. That would give us 24x, positive 24x like that. So this and this cross out. And then we'll have negative 20 plus 9, which would give us negative 11 right there. And then those cross out. And so that right there ends up being the final answer for part C. Now moving on to part D. This one is in a bit of a different kind of format but it's actually the same thing. This x plus five to the power two, and then this x minus five to the power two, we can pretty much rewrite this as x plus five times x plus five. And then we'll be subtracting x minus five times x minus five, like that. Right, so now it just becomes multiplying and then subtracting those products or subtracting this product from this product over here. But first what we got to do like we did before is multiply all of these. So we'll have x times x which gives us, let's put square brackets here, which would give us x squared. x times 5 gives us 5x. 5 times x gives us 5x again. 5 times 5 gives us 25. Close that off. And then we'll be subtracting this product over here. So we'll have x times x, x squared, x times negative 5 minus 5x, negative 5 times x gives us minus 5x, negative 5 times negative 5 gives us positive 25, like that. And so from here, let's simplify both brackets before distributing this negative 1 into this bracket. So we'd end up with x squared plus 10x plus 25 minus x squared minus 10x plus 25, like that. And now both of these are simplified. Now we can distribute the negative inside this bracket. With this particular bracket, there's like a positive one in front. So there's nothing to distribute. So this bracket, we could keep the same. And then over here, neg a negative 1 in front just changes all these signs. So we'll have minus x squared plus 10x minus 25. And then this is a cool result because notice the x squared, the x squared cancels out. And then notice the positive 25 and the negative 25 cancel out as well. And then we're just left with 10x plus 10x. And then that would give us 20x. Right, so that, just a single expression ends up being the answer for this, the simplified answer. And then finally, moving on to part E, we got this over here. So we got negative four times two x plus three times five x minus three minus four times seven x plus three times three x minus one. So over here, what I'm gonna do is we're multiplying three terms here. I'm gonna multiply the brackets first, keep the negative four on the outside. So we're basically just gonna multiply these first right there. So we'll have two x times five x, which gives us 10 x squared. Then we'll have two x minus three gives us minus six x. Three times five x gives us positive 15 x. And then three times negative three would give us negative nine, like that. And then over here, same thing, I'm gonna keep the minus four on the outside, gonna multiply these two brackets over there. So 7x times 3x, 21x squared. 7x times negative 1 gives us minus 7x. 3 times 3x gives us 9x. And then 3 times negative 1 gives us minus 3, like that. And then let's first simplify the um, The brackets, so negative six plus 15, negative six x plus 15 x, those are like terms, that gives us positive nine x minus four, 
21x squared. Then we'll have negative 7x plus 9x gives us positive 2x minus 3, like that. And now we can distribute the negative 4 and the negative 4 in both of these respective brackets. So distributing this negative 4, we'll have negative 40x squared minus 36x plus 36, right? Changing all the signs because it's a negative and then just multiplying everything by 4. Looks good here. And then again, distributing the negative 4, so minus... 84x squared minus 8x plus 12. Right, just be careful with your signs and the multiplication, and it looks all good to me. So now we just simply have to collect the like terms. Negative 40x squared minus 84x squared, that gives us minus 124x squared. Those go away. And then we'll have minus 36x minus 8x. That would give us minus 44x. And then we'll have 36 plus 12, which would give us positive 48. And then those go away. And there's no more terms remaining. So this ends up being the final simplified answer. None of these are like terms, so you can't simplify it any further. All right, so with these kinds of questions, just be careful with your bed mass. Make sure that you're doing the multiplication first before doing any addition or subtraction.